Dawson Trotman was converted at age twenty and gave thirty years to vigorous pursuit of the goal to know Christ and make Him known. He gave his life while saving another from drowning in 1956. Dawson was a man who believed God, who asked Him for great things, and saw God answer. The ministry of the navigators is one of those answers. It began when another man asked God to teach him the principles he saw practiced in Dawes' life. I'm not going to tell the story, but only refer to a fact or two. Twenty-three years ago, we took a sailor, and we spent some time with him and showed him how to reproduce after his kind. It took time. It wasn't a little hurried 30-minute challenge in a church service and a hurried goodbye, say, come back next week. But we spent time together. We took care of his problems and taught him how not only to hear God's word and to read God's word, but how to study God's word. And not only how to study it, but how to fill a quiver of his heart with the arrows of God's word, that the Spirit of God could lift an arrow from that quiver and place it to the bow of his lips and pierce a heart for it. And he found a number of boys on the ship. But none of them would go all out. They, they go to church. But when it came right down to doing something, they were also rams. And he came to me after a month of this, and he said, Doss, he says, I can't get any of these guys on the ship down to business. I said, listen, you ask God to give you one. You can't have two till you have one. Ask for one. Ask God to give you a man after your own heart. He began to pray. One day he came and says, I think I found him. Later he brought him over. It was three months from the time I'd started to work with him. And he found a man. A man of like heart. He wasn't the kind of a guy you had to push and give prizes to do something for God. He loved the Lord and he was willing to pay a price to produce. And he worked with him. And those two fellows began to grow and they each produced in their own lives. And on that ship, 125 men found the Savior before it was sunk at Pearl Harbor. And men off of that first battleship through this particular line are in four continents of the world as missionaries today. And it spread to another ship and another ship. And when the Japanese struck at Pearl Harbor, there, were, there was a work going forward on 50 ships of the U.S. fleet. And when the war closed, there was a work. One or more producers. I'm not talking about Christians. I'm talking about producers. One or more men who was not were not sterile. How did this first come to mind? When Billy Graham came to me five years ago and said, Doss, uh, you know, uh, we'd like you to help our follow-up. He said, I've been studying uh, the great evangelists and the great revivals, and he said, I, I fail to see that there was uh, much of a follow-up program. And he said, we need it. And he said, we're having an average of about 6,000 people come uh, forward in our uh, month's campaign. And uh, I feel that uh, with the work you've done that you could come in and help us. I said, Billy, I, I, I can't follow up 6,000. Man, I, I said, and my work is all with individuals. And small groups. Yeah, but look, Dost, he said, I, everywhere I go, I meet navigators. I met them in school in Wheaton. He said, I, he said, they're in my school right now. He'd become the president of this Northwest. And he says, there, there must be something to this. And I said, well, I, I just don't have time. He, he tackled me again. The third time he asked me, he's, he, he pled with me and he said, Doss, he said, I'm not even sleeping nights. And I was on my way at that time to Formosa and I said, well, while I'm there, I'll pray about it, Billy. And on the sands of Hualien Beach, I paced up and down two and three hours a day with a little rain coat on and the drizzle of the rain in my face, praying, Lord, how can I do this? I'm not even getting the work you've given me done. How can I take six months of the year to give to God? But he laid it on my heart. Why? Why should Billy ask me to do it? I said to him that day, that 30, I said, Billy, you'll have to get somebody else. And he took me by the shoulders and he says, who else? Who 
almost majoring in this thing. 